Let me show you how to make digital stickers or even print-on-demand ones with just a few simple steps and the best part with this is that you don't need to be a designer to create these amazing stickers. Look what I was able to make with the help of artificial intelligence. And here I use the tool called Midjourney, but I know that there are some other tools out there that can do the same thing. And when it comes to stickers, lots of people don't think about the fact that stickers can be used digitally as well and not just in a printed format when you can stick it onto your laptop or onto your phone case. Because in recent years, digital planners became more and more popular. This, of course, brought the popularity of digital stickers as well. And if you are not a pro illustrator, mm. neither am I. I can do some design work, but I cannot do illustrations. I can paint and things like that, but I cannot do illustrations. Then this tutorial is for you because I will show you how to create some digital stickers that actually look good and you can sell those on Etsy. Or if you decide, you can turn them into some print-on-demand products as well. Before we dive in and I show you my computer screen and show you the step-by-step -step process of creating these stickers, I just quickly want to mention the tools that uh, we are going to be using. The first tool that we use, and I tend to use this in all of my videos because I use it on a daily basis, is Everbee. I use Everbee to find profitable and popular trending products on Etsy. Everbee helps me select a style that will be profitable and it is in demand at the moment. And what I like to do is to go for evergreen themes if possible because those can be sold all year long. The second tool that we are going to use, as I mentioned it before, it's called Mid Journey. This will help us create the visuals, the the illustration itself that we are going to use for the stickers. And at the end, we are going to use Canva to polish up these stickers, arrange them on a sheet for digital use or print on demand use. I will show you the exact export settings that you need. And we are also going to create some uh, cute mockups in Canva as well. And as an extra tool, if you would like to use it, you can use ChatGPT to generate ideas. But what I found is that if you already have Canva Pro, you do not need ChatGPT because, because their Canva Docs option has the magic right feature, which does basically the same as ChatGPT. The free version at least. I haven't tried the pro upgraded paid version of ChatGPT yet, but I find that the free version of ChatGPT does the same thing as the Canva magic right option. And now another quick thing that I want to mention is that to legally sell the stickers that you create with Midjourney, you have to subscribe to one of their paid plans. The cheapest one starts at $10 a month, which is really affordable in my opinion. And it does not worth the risk for $10 to get your items deactivated on Etsy because you didn't pay for the copyright usage. With all that said, let's hop over to my computer and I will show you how to create digital stickers with the help of artificial intelligence. Here we are on Etsy and as you can see, I added the keyword which sticker, the which niche has become uh, popular these days. And there are a few things that we can create in this niche that would be popular. Well, with just the which sticker, it is a very broad term and it has 28,000 results. Okay, now we have 5,000 results which means that we have a chance of uh, ranking within this uh, niche. And as you can see, there are lots of lots of styles here. And what I can see is that the color purple and the darker colors are more dominant here. But let's select a few and let's analyze them and maybe come up with an idea that we can create. Okay, I really like this one. I like the colors a lot and I like this sticker here. So maybe that would be a good idea to go on. And this one is really cute. It has more of a watercolor effect, but I really like this style. And again, I see some really good potential with the stickers and with something like these bottles. But I think I'm going to go for the crystals. And I'm going to show you how to create crystal stickers with Mid Journey. For the sake of this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a few crystal stickers, but using the same principles and the same steps, you can create whole collections. With only one or two images generated by Mid Journey, you can create whole sticker packs, and by generating even more images, you can create bigger packs and you can charge even more for those. The first thing that we want to do is to add the right settings. So I'm going to hit forward slash and settings and I just hit enter. 
and you can see here all the options that are available. We, by default, we are using Midjourney version 4, and you can play around with all of these styles and methods. We are going to use this Niji mode. You can also use the MJ test as well, but I prefer the Niji mode for now. We are going to hit Imagine and we are going to type in our prompt. Okay, in Niji mode, as you can see, this is more of an artistic style and an artistic mode. I typed watercolor style crystal sticker. And these are the results that Mid Journey came up with and quite a few are really usable. I would say that the first one and the third one is really good, but I would like to get some more variations here so that we will have more stickers. I'm going to type the prompt a little bit differently this time. I typed in purple watercolor style crystals on a white background. This gives it some more definition on what Mid Journey should create. And here are the results. I think that this time the first one and the second one came out the best. So I'm going to create a few variations out of this first one and this second one. I'm for that, we are going to hit this V1 and V2. These two buttons here mean variation. Okay, now these look really good. I like the style and everything. This last set, in my opinion, looks really good and I'm going to work with these. I am going to show you how to import them into Canva and as a bonus, I am going to show you an extra trick on how you can uh, take one of these images and create multiple stickers out of just one cluster right here. The first thing that I'm going to do is to upscale a few of these. To do that, I just hit the U2, U3 and U4 buttons. This means that I wanted to make these images larger. And after it's done, we are going to do a beta upscale redo as well. That will make our files even bigger. So here we are in Canva. I just uploaded the two files that I downloaded from Midjourney and I added one of them to my canvas. I just created a blank new document. It is A5, I believe, but you can set the size to whatever you would uh, like. For demonstration purposes, for today's video, I chose A5. Now here is the image that we got from Midjourney. As you can see, it has a white background. First, what I'm going to do is to duplicate this one for just a second and work on this first one. I'm going to make this smaller for a second and we are going to go on edit image and background remover. This will remove that uh, grayish background that we have at the moment. It removed all the gray but it left some of the purple and I tend to like it. If you would like to erase something like this you just click on this erase button or on this one if you would like to restore any details that uh, Canva just took away. For now, I am going to click on this restore button because here I can see that Canva removed some parts that I do not want removed. And I hit done. And as you can see, this is now one big sticker. But to make this even more productive, I'm going to show you how to split this one sticker into multiple smaller stickers. And for that, we are going to do is to duplicate this one and just simply drag it like this. And in this case, I only want this big crystal right here. And I'm going to hit the background remover again and it didn't do much but we now have again access to this erase button. And what I'm going to do is to go in and I'm going to erase everything except that one big crystal. Maybe I will leave some of that purple smoke as well, just like that. But you can remove everything if you do not like it and I will have only this one big crystal. And voila, we have another sticker for which we do not have to do much. It was ready in less than a minute. I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to do this until I have at least four separate stickers out of this one image. Okay, as you can see, I have my big sticker and all the little stickers that I created out of this one. This will make your productivity and the output that you can create so much bigger. Okay, now that we have all the separate elements, let me show you how to do the export settings. Before I go into that, I'm going to show you a quick trick how to get that sharp white outline for the st each sticker. For digital stickers, you can omit that, or if you like the style, 
then you can certainly edit. It only takes a few clicks. But for print-on-demand products, at the end, the product will have that white outline. So let me show you how to do that. So that you can see the white outline, I am going to add a color to the background. Let's do this light purple color. We just select the item. As you can see, it has transparent background now. We are going to just hit Edit Image, go under Shadows, and we are going to add a glow to that. And uh, we are going to go to Settings, and we are going to set the color to white, the transparency to 100%, the blur to zero, and then we can play around with the size. I kind of prefer a medium thickness, but I saw things like this as well, and some very thin white outlines as well. I prefer something on the medium side, something like that. Now our sticker has that white outline. I'm going to show it to you again. Under Shadows, Glow, and we're going to go under settings for that glow. As you can see here are the toggle buttons for that. Select the color white, transparency to 100, blur to zero, and then play around with this size. And let's say you have some more stickers right on the bottom as well. I would just add a title here like, I just would add a title like watercolor crystal stickers, and then I would start creating the mockups. For the export settings, I'm going to put the background back to white. You can export your arranged stickers like this on a piece of paper in PNG format. Or if you would like to offer your stickers as separate files, and many sellers do, they offer the files as separate PNG files, then what you have to do is to duplicate the page and then just leave one crystal per page like this and then export each one as a PNG on transparent background. To do that, you go under Share, Download, P select the PNG, and then click Transparent Background and download all pages. Each of your stickers has its own page, and plus you have a separate document downloaded on your computer with all the stickers on it. Now, let me show you quickly how to do the mockups here. I just quickly opened a new document, it is 2000 by 100, 500 pixels. I'm going to go under photos and I'm going to search for a laptop or a phone case or however would you like to display your sticker. Just make it full size. You can add some extra text and things like that. I added the sticker that we just created. I'm going to make it smaller and then voila, I just readjusted the size and our mock-up is ready. Of course, I would add some extra text and make it pretty and things like that, but that is a great way to create mock-ups for individual stickers. For sticker packs, you have multiple options. You can uh, create beautiful layouts. If you need some help, I have some uh, Canva mock-ups in my Etsy shop. You can find the link in the description to those. After this, you only have to go on Etsy and list them in your Etsy shop as digital stickers. Or if you would like to go on the print-on-demand route, you can go to Printify or Printful or whichever of the print-on-demand fulfillment uh, companies are you using, upload to their platforms, select the product, and you are ready to create print-on-demand products that way. That was it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Stickers are getting more and more popular and with digital planners, digital stickers will keep being popular. So it is a really good niche to get into. And with the help of Everbee, you can identify styles and sub-niches that can be worth your time on the long run as well. Evergreen products are always a good thing. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online, making money on Etsy and all things related to that. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!